Just one spot left in the very first BC High School Girls Quad A Provincial Basketball Championships and one of these two teams will be in the final tomorrow here at the Langley Event Center. It's the Yale Lions and the Prairie Fox Ravens in the second semifinal here at the Langley Event Center and tfsctv.ca. My name is Wilson Wong. Thank you very much for joining us for this exciting matchup we have between Yale and Terry Fox on the court. Yale will be wearing navy blue and white jerseys and Terry Fox will be in white. The opening tip off rattles off of a couple of players and goes out of bounds. Possession going to Terry Fox. And your starters for Fox, number five, Paris Merton. Number uh, six, Alicia Walloy. Number 10, Emily Sussex. Number one, Lauren Clements. And that shot from Merton is good to open the scoring for Terry Fox as they lead 3-0. The uh, fifth starter for Terry Fox, number 11, Anna Maria Misik. For Yale, they have the ball right now on their first possession. Turnaround shot from Jaden White, number 11, the forward, uh, is off the mark. And on the jump ball, on the rebound, it will be a foul. It will be a foul against Yale's number 10, Kylie Bolt. Also on the floor, number six, Neela Mirai. Number seven, Lily Borseth. As uh, Terry Fox now down the floor with the ball. Number five, Karishma Rai. And number seven, uh, pardon me, got Lily Borseth. Number 11, Jaden White. As a turnover for Yale, it's going to be White inside her shot off the mark. Gets the rebound, offensive board, and the foul. So just going to review the uh, five players on the floor for Yale. Uh, Neelam and Karishma Rai, Lily Borseth, Jaden White, and Kylie Bull. White at the line, trying to get Yale on the scoreboard. First of two foul shots goes. And Yale on the board here. 9.07 to go in the first quarter very early and the second shot rattles off the rim. Offensive board for Karishma Rai. Looks like the ball will uh, stay with Yale. 3-1 early, Terry Fox in the lead. Terry Fox wearing white with red uh, trim and black lettering. On the drive, it's going to be a Rye high off the glass. Neelam Rye missing and back in transition come the Ravens right towards the hoop and down for the layup is a shot from Missick. And it's an early 5-1 lead for the Ravens. Neelam Rye for Yale. Looking to her right, it's Karishma Rye. Trying to get a screen from White. Back up top, Borseth fires away at a three. That one's online and rattles in for Yale. And the Lions within one here, 5-4 early, 8-19 to go before the first quarter break. We are live from the Langley Event Center, the 4A semifinal between Yale and Terry Fox. And it is Terry Fox turning the ball over. So Yale a chance to take the lead here early. The winner of tonight's game will face Semiamu as they defeated Yale 105-7. Uh, they defeated, uh, I shouldn't say Yale, they defeated uh, Walnut Grove 105-78 in the opening semifinal. First foul called on Terry Fox's Alicia Walloy. Now ball turned over, it's gonna be Merton in all alone. The left-hand layup goes down and Terry Fox leads seven to four and a near turnover on the inbound pass. Nice play there by the uh, Ravens. Malloy there that time nearly getting the turnover. Instead, Yale gets the inbound, Neelam Rai out to Borseth. Borseth out to the sideline, Karishma Rai mails the Nails the three and it's seven to seven. And it's 
going to be Bolt causing the turnover, finds Neelam Rye. The lay-in is good, and Yale takes the lead 9-7. Got 7.15 to go in the first quarter. Fox will try to tie or retake the lead here. Off balance layup, jump shot type uh, attempt there. And it's going to be Missick going to the line for two shots as she draws the foul. Forseth called for the foul for first. Both teams have two fouls in this quarter. And the first attempt is good from Anna Maria Missick. 5'10 uh, guard forward in grade 10, and as are most of these Ravens. Second shot, no good, and I believe it's a violation on Terry Fox. And new into the game for the Ravens is Kiana Frost, wearing number three, the daughter of assistant uh, or co head coach, I should say, uh, Tina Frost. She coaches the team with uh, Mike Kartner. Kartner is the one uh, standing in front of uh, his team there, as you see on the webcast. Yale having a bit of trouble with the possession and they will turn the ball over in favor of Terry Fox. Yale still leading 9-8 early in this game. Uh, the coaches for Yale, the head coaches Bobby Brach and assistant coaches Jason Borseth. Ball down low and a foul call against Yale. So the Lions thought they actually got a turnover. Instead, assess the foul. Maggie Curtis will come in now to spell off Lily Borseth. At the line, Emily Sussex making good on the first foul shot. Second one, no good, offensive rebound to Clements. And a shot though off the mark. And Karishma Rai with the ball for Yale. Entry pass down low, it's White. Back up top, Karishma Rai makes the three. That's I believe her second of the game. 12-9 Yale up early on Terry Fox. Of course the winner gets the uh, task of battling Semi Amu in tomorrow's 4A championship game is that three-pointer, an air ball. Neelam Rye, ball turned over. Walloy to the hoop, splits the defense and goes high off the glass for two. A back and forth game early on here between these two rivals, Yale and Terry Fox. Lions with the lead 12-11 and with the ball right now. Neelam Rye, long range two, and that goes. And so Yale getting some shots from outside to drop early. See how Terry Fox can make some adjustments here. Nice fake pass and drive there from Clemens, but her shot though just off the mark. And now a foul on the sideline. Tylee Bolt going up the line as we got subs in for Yale. Number one, Julie Duick, and number 12 for Terry Fox, Taylor Matthews. Curtis puts the ball back into play. Julie Duick finding Bolt, foul line. Curtis inside on the penetration and she will get two shots from the charity strike here. Team up 14-11. And first foul shot is good. Looks like the and sounds like the contingent uh, from Terry Fox is a little bit larger than the one from Yale in this game as the second foul shot is no good. And now Merton right to the hoop. Gets the lay-in to go. Showing off her speed there. Uh, she gets her team within two points and then the foul on the perimeter. Matthews looks like she'll be assessed the foul. Your officials in this game, uh, Isabel Detayan and Jackson James. 
Bolt short on the first shot. Second one short as well on the rebound taken by Matthews. Finds Merton. Merton one on one to the hoop again. This time rolls off the rim. Offensive board by Willoy. On the drive, it's going to be Matthews. Another shot that rolls off the rim, but she draws the foul on that play and has a chance now to tie the game here. Just past the halfway mark of the first quarter in this second 4A semifinal. And we will have a sub back in. It's Neelam Rye for Yale to spell off Kylie Bolt. Taylor Matthews wearing number 12, 5'7 guard in grade 10, as you might expect with this Terry Fox team. Makes good on the first. And second opportunity rattles out. And the rebound controlled by Jaden White. Down the floor another three-point attempt it's another one that goes down for Yale Karishma Rai makes it 18 14 it's a two possession game now Frost trying to respond and Frost just just slightly wide left and the rebound taken by Neelam Rai pardon me that was Karishma Rai over now to Neelam entry pass tipped into the air by Sussex and intercepted by Terry Fox Skip pass inside, rattles to the end line, but stolen by Maggie Curtis, and now she's fouled in the backcourt by Merton. Got an exciting back and forth game between Terry Fox and Yale here in the second semifinal, the BC 4A Girls Provincial Championships. And we will have a timeout with exactly four minutes to go in the first quarter. The Yale Lions leading the Terry Fox Ravens 18 to 14 here on TFSCTV.ca. Thank you for joining us and spending some of your Friday night with us and watching and supporting uh, girls basketball and amateur sports here in British Columbia. This of course is one of the biggest and most exciting times of the year on the sports calendar here in this province. We've got the basketball provincial championships taking place over uh, over parts of three weeks here at the Langley Event Center. We had the junior boys, and we'll have, uh, of course, the uh, senior boys next week. And this week, it is the girls taking center stage. Uh, there will also be the uh, single-A championships for the girls also taking place next week, but not here at the LEC. Uh, we hope that uh, wherever you're watching, you can find some time tomorrow or next week to support some of the great high school basketball championships taking place uh, around the province. There are some, of course, grade nine, uh, grade eight invitational tournaments as well. So we hope that uh, you can find some time to enjoy some basketball as the two teams are back out on the floor at the foul line is Maggie Curtis and she rattles the first shot in for the Lions. Second shot goes as well and it's a 20 to 14 advantage for the Yale Lions. And the shot off the mark and rebound taken by Curtis, who's been very effective since she's come into the game for the Lions. Neelam Rye finding Curtis to the hoop, leaning away from the bucket, gets that shot to go. And Yale all of a sudden has a 22 to 14 lead. Back the other way, Terry Fox getting uh, some momentum back that time with Lauren Clements making that inside layup. Ball inside, White has it knocked away, recovers the loose ball, throws it back up to the sideline. It's another three-pointer, that time long from Neelam Rye. And Rye in the middle of the play again of the loose ball taken at the end line. And unfortunately for Fox, it's Clements who picks it up just as a ball uh, is touching the end line. So it's a turnover 
or at least possession staying with Yale. Not sure if there was true possession there. So indeed the shot clock is at 19 for Yale. 2.54 to go in this first quarter. And the Lions turn it back over. At this time, I'd also like to say, uh, to give credit to Brian Watson, who broadcasted the last five games here at the LEC in, in some of the most important games of the year. So we want to thank her for her work in providing the expertise that she has with uh, all of you who have been watching. Foul on Yale. And it will be two shots on the way from Emily Sussex wearing number 10 for Terry Fox. At six foot, uh, she's one of the taller players on the court. Deanna Frost at 6'1 is your tallest player on the Fox roster. Now back the other way. Oh, near travel by uh, Yale. Curtis, her pass nearly intercepted and it's going to be a foul on Yale as that pass towards the top of the circle was up for grabs. And just as Yale got a 22 to 14 lead, Fox has been able to just uh, turn the tide a little bit and get back into this game. Five point lead for Yale, but it could be uh, smaller than that. With these two foul shots, the first one from Malloy, no good. And the second shot on the way here. Got two and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. Second shot doesn't get the bounce, but a rebound taken by Fox. Clemens with a pump fake, shot strong. Offensive board again, that time by Sussex. And the ball finally going out of bounds, staying with Terry Fox. So two offensive rebounds for the Ravens. We'll see if the Ravens can take advantage here. Ball inbounded, and it's going to be saved back in the play. Stolen by Kylie Bolt. Bolt finding Dewick and her pass intercepted. Now Fox back down the other way. One on one, and a foul on Yale as uh, Misick was in for that opportunity. And once again, Fox taking advantage of turnovers and getting to the foul line. Both teams now in the bonus. First shot goes for Fox. Anna Maria Missick. Second shot good as well. And looks like Yale will just get their sub in. And it is number 11, Jaden White. Two oh four to go in the first quarter. Twenty two for Terry Fox. Nineteen pardon me, twenty two for Yale. Nineteen for Fox. Yale on the turnaround. Lay in no good offensive board. Put back no good. Second offensive board. And another miss there. Unfortunate for Yale as White couldn't get that shot to go against some tough inside defense for Fox. Clements looks to go left and cuts back inside. Lay in too strong. Rebound, Sussex. Has the ball knocked away, and it's going to be Bolt. Has the, her pass tipped and intercepted by Fox. Missick now over to Merton for three short, and a rebound off of White into the hands of Neelam Rye. Neelam Rye stepping back for three. That one's going to be wide right. And Missick back with the rebound. Gets past her defender to the hoop, off the glass, two points, and the foul. Some unsettled basketball by these two teams. But Terry Fox taking advantage. Missick going to the line again. And what was an eight point lead for Yale uh, could be erased right now with this foul shot from Missick. It was 22 to 14, and now Fox trails by just one. And that one goes down, and we are tied at 22 with a minute 10 to go in the first quarter. A high-scoring game 
An exciting game, a back and forth contest so far. We'll see what Yale can do to try to take the lead back on this possession. Bolt, mid-range jumper from behind the foul line, no good. And on the rebound, it's going to be a four on two break for Terry Fox. And instead, they bring the ball back out Walloy. A pass into the corner for Sussex. Inside Clements. Loose ball ends up in the hands of Misik, who misses, and the rebound taken by Yale. It's Rai, Karishma Rai. Ball worked inside, and a nice play there. Assist going to both the lay-in, going to White. And she gives her team a 24-22 lead. And the ball out to the sideline. Walloy, hook shot just short. And the rebound <laughs> strongly taken by White. Six seconds to go in the quarter. No shot clock. Three-pointer from the sideline. No good from Karishma Rai. And we are going to end the first quarter with a score 24 for Yale and 22 for Terry Fox. An exciting first quarter quarter of the second semifinal of the BC 4A girls tournament. We're going to take a short break here on TFSCTV.ca and come back with second quarter action live from the Langley Event Center. And welcome back to the Langley Event Center. We have Terry Fox and Yale fighting for a berth into the first 4A BC High School Girls Basketball Provincial Championship Final. Terry Fox down by two points at the end of the first quarter. They have the ball here to open the second. Long range two from Sussex, no good. And the rebound taken by Yale. They turn it over in the backcourt. And it's Merton. Now swung around the perimeter. Now at the edge of the paint, Clement strong on the lay-in. And finally Yale, Forseth getting the rebound but turning the ball over and Merton ties the game here at 24. These Ravens are relentless. They will try to get the ball back at, as you see at any point on the court. Ball into the blocks, White off target with that shot. Clements, Clements finds room to the hoop, scoop lay in and a block called on Jaden White. And uh, looks like that is going to be her second foul of the contest. The Yale coaching staff curious as to the reason for the call. Missick missing the first. Second shot is good, and Terry Fox has the lead, 25-24. It's an 11-2 run for the Fox Ravens since they were down 22-14. Nice handoff there to Lucy Romeo, but uh, she can't get that shot to get to the hoop. The loose ball results in a jump ball. Should be Yale, because uh, Fox opened with possession of the second quarter. Yale trying to take the lead back here. They've gone on a bit of an offensive dry spell. Long range jumper, no good from Borseth. And subs now will come in as the team rebound goes to Fox. It's Julie Dewick in for Lucy Romeo. Romeo in uh, 
grade 10. Youngest player on this roster is Maggie Curtis, grade 9 player, called up to replace an injured Marissa Rohde. And Rohde is a uh, big loss for this Yale Lions squad. It really speaks to their resilience to be able to make it this far in the tournament without one of their uh, better players. Twelve to shoot on this possession. It's going to be Karishma Rai handing off to Curtis. And Curtis on the outside drawing the foul. And Fox maybe bailing up the lines a little bit because it looked like Yale didn't have much going offensively. Seven on the shot clock when the uh, foul was called. Timeout uh, by Yale and uh, their head coach Bobby Brach. You're watching live coverage of the BC High School Senior Girls Provincial Championships at the 2A, 3A and 4A levels live from the Langley Event Center here on tfsctv.ca. Um, Always a great time to come to the LEC and watch the basketball from day to night and three, four gyms and certainly uh, some great matchups going on throughout the, the uh, various gyms here at the LEC tonight. There's a Vancouver Giants game on as well, so some really uh, big crowds in all the various venues here at the LEC. And we hope that uh, if you've been watching and you're local, you can come out and maybe support uh, some of the girls playing this weekend here tomorrow. Of course, the championship game. If you want to come out and watch that. Semiamu fighting for their third uh, consecutive championship. They will face one of these two teams. And right now, Fox is in the lead by just one. Yale with the ball. Entered into White. Back to Dewick, who loses the handle on the ball. And Willoy. Foul line pass out to a wide open Merton, and chances are she's not going to miss. And on that time, she does not. It's 28 24 for Fox as the Ravens are really coming on here. Dewick missing. White strong on the shot. But a foul called much to the dismay of the Terry Fox fans on that side of the court. And the Ravens have done a great job uh, bringing fans out. Their mascot is out. As the first foul shot there from White is good. We've seen some great crowds here from uh, all tiers. Uh, must say, John Oliver, my alma mater, has done a great job bringing kids out to, uh, to their games. And Yale and Pitt Meadows and Lots of great schools showing uh, support for uh, the students representing them here at the LEC this week. Both shots good from White's 28-26. Scoop layout there in a huge crowd from Clements. Does not get to the rim and the loose ball out for Yale as Frost will re-enter the game for Terry Fox. She's the tallest player on this Fox roster at 6-1. And White, the tallest player on the Yale roster at 6'2". And White, of course, has two uh, neon pink knee braces as uh, she fights for the loose ball there. Willoy again coming up with the possession of the ball. Merton trapped on the wing. Back to Willoy. Foul line pass out to Frost. She's open for three. Frost just strong. And the rebound. Looks like it's going to be Merton coming in from behind on Karishma Rai getting called for the infraction. It's still a one possession game. 28-26 as we see some more subs. Uh, Maggie Curtis, the grade nine player, back in. And looks like it was uh, Taylor Matthews for Terry Fox wearing number 12. Kylie Bolt, one hand pass out to the sideline. Quick three in the way from Borseth, no good rebound. Tipped by White, but into the hands of Sussex. Quickly worked up past center. Willoy going to her left. Ball worked out to Frost, loses control of it and then throws the pass out of bounds. 
off of Walloy. 6.24 to go before halftime. Not quite as run and gun as we saw in the first quarter, but still a very close game between Yale and Fox. The Ravens leading by two. Lions trying to tie the game here, or maybe take the lead. Forseth to the hoop, finding room inside, creating space, and tying the game here at 28. Four minutes, pardon me, four minutes gone in this uh, second quarter. Wilson Wong here with you on this broadcast as that shot hits the side of the backboard. So excited to be able to bring you this game. So excited to watch these talented players put a show on for you here. And it's going to be Rai. Little runner goes for Karishma Rai. And Lions ahead 30 to 28. Bolt trying for the steal, but Willoy maintaining composure. Frost now throws the ball away. Maggie Curtis, it's a one on two. Curtis splits the defense, but looks like she's fouled on the way to the hoop. Third foul of the game, uh, pardon me, that's second foul of the game for Frost. Pardon me, was quick on the trigger for uh, that one on the board. Timeout called by Terry Fox and their coaching staff headed by uh, Tina Frost and Mike Parkner. Also want to mention the managers. Alana Noble is the manager for Terry Fox and Malika Dinza is the manager for Yale. These coaches can't do it with without their managers and uh, these teams really reliant on some of the great support staff they've gotten to get to this point. And we've seen throughout this tournament uh, the great work put on uh, by these uh, volunteers, volunteer managers. And of course, this tournament wouldn't take place without some of the uh, great people that operate BC Secondary Schools Basketball Association, uh, the volunteers that do the scorekeeping, and the uh, electronic scoreboard, the shot clock, and of course, your volunteer coaches as well. So. All throughout uh, this tournament, not only do you see people who've dedicated their lives to basketball, but uh, people who have kept this tournament uh, running well throughout uh, its history. Of course, first ever four-way tournament, but we've had uh, dozens of tournaments going back to uh, 1948, the first provincial tournament. As the first shot was made by Maggie Curtis, second shot, no good, the rebound taken by Fox, Emily Sussex. Quickly up to Matthews, Matthews. Up to the sideline and in, within the uh, reach of three defenders, Malloy able to get that shot off and draw the foul. So Borseth will go to the bench. Kali Bolt called for the foul. I think there's a bit of confusion here as to who the foul was called against. Uh, Walloy missing on the first foul shot. So the referee saying the foul was on Kylie Bolt. I believe the uh, Yale coaching staff disagreeing there, but the foul shots are down. And Yale down by two, halfway through the second quarter. Bolt out to the sideline, three-pointer strong from Curtis and the loose ball into the corner going the way of Terry Fox. Four forty-two to go before halftime. Walloy looking to her left, now to her right. Has a pass intended for Matthews, knocked out of bounds.
Matthews will put the ball back into play. Gets the pass back there from Sussex. But there's a mix-up, and Yale gets the steal, and it's going to be Bolt missing the layup, but getting the ball back. A second chance here, strong on the shot. Another offensive rebound, this time by White. Her turnaround can't go, and... Fox will somehow get out of that position by drawing a foul. And we'll see who the foul is going to go against. And it's White, number 11 for Yale. And we're just going to look up at the scoreboard to see which how many fouls she has here. We'll have to wait a bit. It looks like uh, Fox will be bailed out there by a kicked ball. Uh, some subs in for Yale and Fox. Hannah Rao in for uh, Fox and Borseth and Dewick back in for Yale. That's the third foul. Big news on uh, Jaden White. Terry Fox with a miss and Borseth. Back into the game, turns the ball over, trying to throw the lead pass here. And now back the other way, a pass is intercepted by Borseth. Borseth. Up top, Curtis trying to find room inside, goes to the hoop. A strong lay and nice play by Maggie Curtis, who as a great nine has been very impressive for this Yale team. That shot is good as we have a two-point game again. Yale leading 33-31 to 31 over Fox. Ball swung around. The perimeter, a long three that rattles off the back end by Karishma Rai. And now Fox trying to take advantage. Willoy to the hoop. Acrobatic lay-in attempt, no good. And a foul on the loose ball rebound. Julie Dewick. Upset that she was called for the foul, fighting for a loose ball. And now you're hearing the Yale fans who are voicing their displeasure at that call. Olivia Thind in. And uh, Yale will have to keep defending here. Ball entered into Missick. Back out. Elbow jumper from Clements, no good. And Fox still pl playing very aggressively. And I think the Yale fans wanting maybe a, a return call as Fox was defending that rebound and defending that outlet pretty closely in the, in the front court for them. Karishma Rai looking to get a screen. Over to the sideline, it's Curtis. Curtis into the short corner. Dewick, three seconds left, shot back rim. Oh, rebound comes down to Curtis, can't make that shot. We've seen a lot of shots inside, tightly contested and just, just off target. Now that three-pointer is on target as Fox retakes the lead on the three-pointer from Missick. Down the stretch here in the first half. Thin up top to Forsyth. Forsyth back out to the wing. On the drive. Curtis very effective at getting to the hoop, getting foul calls and getting to the charity stripe. That's the fifth foul of the quarter for Fox. Just the first of the game for Hannah Rao. And Curtis, strong on the first foul shot. So this foul shot could tie the game here. And she does. We're level at 34, two minutes to go in the first half. Yale and Terry Fox fighting for a spot in the BC4A final against Semiamu tomorrow here at the Langley Event Center. And right at the high post, there is a foul call drawn by Clements and going against Yale. It's Dewick's second.
First foul shot is successful. Second one down as well. So 66 to 34 in favor of Fox. And Neelam Rai will re-enter the game for the Lions. Rai gets to the hoop and somehow off balance with her head back to the basket. She gets that bucket to go and draws the foul. And that was as nice and unexpected as you might see here in this tournament. Rai a chance to give her team the lead. Strong on the rebound and the on the shot, Curtis comes down with the rebound. Nope, they're gonna call it a jump ball. Possession going to Fox. We're tied at 36. Just over a minute and a half left in the first half here between these rivals. Formerly in the same Fraser Valley zone, but now split up after the, the zones were uh, redrawn as that miss and then board and put back is made by Lauren Clements. 38-36 Fox. Now, Curtis getting into the paint, but can't get that shot to drop. And once again, Clements to the hoop. Foul going against Forsyth. That's gonna be her third. So a few Yale players in foul trouble, both Forsyth and White with three. And they'll have to survive this minute, next minute six here Leading scorers so far, Merton with 12, leading all players in this game for Fox. And Yale, uh, Mystic with 11, and Karishma Rai also with 11. Second shot is good. Thank you to Brett Westcott of the BC Secondary Schools Girls Basketball Association for the stats update. The game director here in this second semifinal. It's 40 to 36. Fox leading, Rye though trying the acrobatic shot just overshoots the rim and Fox a chance to add to their lead here. Clements to a wide open row, her three ball no good, rebound tipped up the foul line and it comes back to Clements off that miss and the turnaround shot no good. And Yale back the other way. 17 to shoot. Karishma Rai will draw the foul. Uh, Terry Fox, assistant coach, uh, or head co-head coach, because Mike Carter is the one doing the standing. I uh, see that uh, Tina Frost are really saying that that was all ball. Really incredulous at the call made by the officials. First foul shot missed from Karishma Rai. Second shot is good. Third shot on the way, bounces out. Well, really opportunity missed there by Yale. Missick now, Laloy down to Clements. Laloy going to her left, Rao. Malloy, six to shoot here. Rao, open three, just strong. And looks like we're going to, are we gonna end this quarter? There's 0.1 second left on the clock. I think uh, Yale coach Bobby Brach is gonna cancel this timeout. And we will end the first half with very little separating these two teams. It's a one possession game with 20 more minutes to go the Yale Lions trail 40 to 37 against the Terry Fox Ravens an exciting first 20 minutes of basketball here in the second semifinal of the BC 4A girls provincial championship tournament we will see what the next 20 will bring us and maybe there'll be more uh, thank you for joining us here on tfsctv.ca Wilson Wong thank you for uh, being with us here for this first half 
And we are going to have an even more exciting second half coming up here live from the Langley Event Center. So please return in about five minutes time. We'll have uh, some stats for you and a uh, little bit of a preview of the second half here as these, these two teams fight for the chance to play Semiamu in tomorrow's 4A championship game. And welcome back everyone to the Langley Event Center. We are now underway in the second half between the Terry Fox Ravens and the Yale Lions. Yale trying to start quick here with a long three, long range shot, but it does not go. Fox leading 40 to 37, and they have the ball now the first time for the first time in this second half. The inside attempt, no good. I think it was shot from behind the backboard almost, and uh, Yale turning the ball over, so Fox gets another opportunity, and this time it will be a foul as Emily Sussex gets to the hoop with that shot. And right off the bat, uh, the foul going against Yale's Jaden White, and that is huge trouble for this Yale team. So Sussex going to the line and gets the first shot to go. Boy, this will really uh, tax the Lions here. See how long they can keep up with uh, Terry Fox with White sitting with four fouls. Scores 42-37, a really big point in this contest, you would think. Bolt to that hoop. Missing with the layup. And Fox down with the rebound. Sussex now giving away to Clements. Merton. Merton, acrobatic shot. She may be small at 5'6", but she certainly knows her way around the court and found room and converted a good opportunity. She made herself. 
Bolt. Oh, her pass back up to, to the perimeter, intercepted by Walloy. Walloy trying to split the defense, instead goes to her teammate Merton, and she will reset in this half court offense. Walloy, pass, and now Clements, her shot rolls off the rim. Offensive board, re put back, no good from Missick, and the loose ball still. And uh, possession staying with Fox. Kylie Bolt uh, just at the sideline here, getting some words of encouragement from her coach Bobby Brach. Missick out to Merton, no good. Gets the rebound, turnaround shot is from the top of the key. And Fox now out 46 to 37. We'll see what the Lions can do offensively here. They've uh, struggled in the second quarter, and that time short on that shot from the middle of the paint by Dewick. Jumper on the way is good from Clements, and it's going to be a double-digit lead for Terry Fox. They have come out on fire with eight straight points coming out of the halftime break, and they are ahead 48 to 37 as we head into this timeout. This will give us an opportunity to allow us to mention uh, the social media accounts for those of you wanting to follow the teams. Yale on Instagram, they're just at Yale Lions, and then uh, Fox has their athletics account at T Fox Athletics. Of course, many of the teams here with their own social media, if not the uh, schools or athletics programs themselves. So it's been really neat to follow the journeys of the different teams through their accounts throughout this uh, week. As we are coming out of the timeout, Yale looking to uh, regroup here, down by 11, first time in this game where uh, Fox has led by double digits. And so Neelam Rye out to Bolt. Bolt into the paint. Curtis. Neelam Rye and the ball thrown out of bounds. So the Lions wanting a good possession out of that timeout, but unfortunately, they turn the ball over. Uh, score, halftime score in the uh, other game here happening at the LEC Fieldhouse in the 15th place game is John Oliver Jokers and the Prince George Polars tied at 35. John Oliver, of course, the first opponent for Terry Fox. Fox winning that game 69-37. That's a really nice crowd here with Fox and John Oliver bringing out the fans. Nice lay-in, acrobatic dynamic attempt there by Neelam Rye. Gets her team back within nine. We'll see if the Lions can maybe draw on that, build some momentum here, maybe get a stop. Merton feeding the ball inside. Turn around from Clements. That is a shot with a high degree of difficulty. Made no mistake on that one. Fox back up by 11. 6.40 to go before the third quarter break. Bolt. Cross to Borseth. Borseth. Four to shoot. Open. Maggie Curtis. Strong. That was a long range shot. And the uncontested rebound down to Missick. And now very quickly, ball worked in on the fast break. A second chance there from Sussex off her own miss. And she will draw the foul. So, Curtis with her second foul. Karishma Rai back in. Sussex off on the first. And she makes good on the second. D 
Duick trying to set a screen for Neelam Rye. Oh, Duick. Don't think it was the intended receiver, but the ball ends up in the hands of Karishma Rai. Into the corner. Forseth for three. No good. And rebound controlled by Clements to Merton. Merton to the hoop. Lefty layup off the glass. Just a bit too strong. Forseth with the board. Trying to get over center. She does. Now it's Neelam Rai for three. A big bucket for the Lions. Much needed as they are back within nine. Misik at the baseline. Willoy back to Misik for three. Rebound to Clements. Over to wide open Merton. Right in front of the Terry Fox fans. Merton nails that triple and it's 54-42. It's a 12 point lead for the Ravens. Bolt to the hoop, gets past Misik and scores. Merton to the foul line. Merton right to the hoop. <laughs> Yale had at least three defenders back, and Merton still got by them all. Back the other way. A really off balance shot as Duick ran into a defender and was falling backwards and still threw up that shot with enough oomph to get the roll. And it's still a 10 point game. These teams have been trading baskets. Clements off balance. I think she may have injured herself. And now Duick with the ball. Forseth over to the sideline. Bolt from the wing. Online but short. And now Misik with the rebound. And Clements uh, still injured by the Yale basket. Will uh, cause the play to be stopped. Uh, Coach Karkner up on the floor as uh, Coach Frost. Uh, talking with her team. Scores 56 46 4, 11 to go in the third quarter. And Clements is able to uh, hop off the uh, floor here with the help of Coach Karkner. And she gets a nice ovation from both, uh, both contingents here. Yale. And Terry Fox, the Lions certainly have the advantage in terms of signs. There's at least five of them on the sideline across from us. Ravens brought up their mascot. So really nice to see the school supporting student success no matter uh, in what subject. As the steal and the layup goes for Kylie Bolt of Yale. She's in her grade 12 year. She wants to get to this provincial finals. One of the few grade 12s in this game, actually, is uh, Missick. Final line pass. Now it's going to be Merton. Her shot is blocked again by Bolt. Fortunately, the outlet pass taken back by Fox. It's Willoy. Sussex going inside. Pass tipped away by Curtis. Recovered by Matthews. Matthews at the wing. Gets past her defender to the line and foul called against Yale. Duick knocked the ball away, but they have called the foul on her. They say she knocked the offensive player in the arm. Third foul of the game for Curtis. And this is a big Foul shot here as it bounces in for Taylor Matthews. Jaden White is going to be checked back into the game. 321 to go. As that second foul shot, no good. Offensive rebound and another foul as Sussex will go to the line after getting that board. And here comes Jaden White to spell off Maggie Curtis. Is this the uh, last stand here for the Yale Lions? She's got four fouls in this game as Clements makes good on the first.
3-10 to go in the uh, quarter. Rye for three. Misses. White with the rebound. Second shot. It's a foul on the made three-pointer by Karishma Rye. Foul going on Matthews. I believe they deemed that foul as having taken place after the shot was made. So possession going back to Yale. So actually that's probably preferred by the Lions as another foul is called. So Willoy with her third. Buick will inbound Rye. Neelam Rye getting the ball to Karishma. Travel. She stumbled her feet. Big opportunity missed there by the Lions. They're down by eight. They'll have to keep building momentum here by getting a stop. Merton to Frost. Back into the game. Frost across to Willoy. Oh, her entry pass taken away. It's a three on two break for Yale. Neelam right to the hoop. The assist going to Duick. The fast break lay in makes it a six point game. Yale still trailing. And now Merton missing with that three point shot. White with the rebound. Hands off to Neelam Rai. Karishma Rai. Yale has a player wide open in front of their own bench. It's going to be Julie Duick for three. She nails it. And we've got a 59-56 game. The Yale Lions are back in it. And it's Julie Duick making that huge three from just in front of the Yale bench. And a timeout called by Terry Fox. The Ravens uh, led by Merton's 19 points, Clements is 15, and Misick is 13. On the Yale side, uh, Karishma Rye with 12, and Neelam Rye with 11. I don't think either team really cares who gets the points as they win this one. But uh, you see which players are coming up big here and, and which players uh, have been maybe hampered by foul trouble, such as uh, Jaden White. But since she's come back on, the Lions have cut this to a one possession game. They were down by double digits and now trail by just uh, three points, 59-56. What can Terry Fox do is they surely have talked about some adjustments and they come out here. Two minutes, 11 seconds left in this third quarter. Would the would the strategy be to go against uh, Jaden White to go after her goal, get the ball inside? We'll see on this possession here, Merton, Frost, into the corner, Sussex, inside, and it's a lay-in for Anna Maria Missick. As they do go inside, coming out of that timeout, Yale back up by five. Jumper on the way strong, and the long rebound down to Merton. 1.38 to go in the third quarter. Merton, Frost, Frost for three. Oh, just rattles in and out. And the rebound last touched by Missick. This game, I think, really on, is uh, really on the edge here. Can Terry Fox pull away again? Or does Yale have more in them? We'll see part of the answer on this possession. Forsyth looks at a three, good. It's a two point game now, 61-59. Yale tra trails by just two. Merton going around the court baseline, finding Frost. She'll try to respond and almost did. The rebound 
goes down to Forsyth, and she's fouled from behind on that loose ball. Foul going to Missick. And Yale has a chance to tie the game here when it looked like they may have been done down double digits with Jaden White on the bench with four fouls early in this quarter. To the hoop, the lay-in, no good for the foul. Will be called, Borseth will go to the line for two shots. Kylie Bolt back in as the foul going to Sussex. And the Terry Fox fan really making some noise here as the foul shot goes off the backboard, front rim and down. This to tie the game, Lily Borseth, short, rebound. Violation on Yale, so Fox clinging on to their lead as Frost gets ready to inbound. We've got 54.3 seconds to go in the third quarter. The Ravens up by one. They have the ball here with Frost into the high post for Missick. Finding Sussex, reverse layup, gets the bounce. Forseth called for the foul, and Mike Cartner is not happy with the officials. Five fouls on Fox, as Merton is called for her fourth. That may be also why Mike Cartner was so upset. So, Yale to the line. Lily Forseth ties the game. Pardon me, pardon me. 63-61. I uh, forgot about the uh, last Fox bucket. It's been really exciting here, but a chance to get her team within one. No good. The rebound tipped to the into the hands of Kali Bolt with help from White. Bolt, Neelam Rye. Four to shoot. Rye stepping back for three. Off rim, out of bounds. Fox with the ball. Fox up 63-61. And these two teams really making uh, whatever you paid to watch this game, either in person or on the stream, worth it here. Four to shoot. Pull up jumper, no good from Missick. And the rebound taken by Yale. Bodies falling all over the place. Emily Sussex taking a hard fall there. But Yale. Coming all the way back. They were down double digits here in the third quarter, and they came all the way back to get within one possession. We will see if they can complete the comeback. Fox playing so well in the first parts of that third quarter, and Yale with the response. Both these teams not giving anything away. And despite the uh, lead that Fox took in, in that third quarter, the Lions able to fight back and we'll see how long the the momentum can continue from the lions uh, certainly the player in foul trouble uh, white a big factor in their success she's got four fouls she picked up her fourth foul really early in the third quarter and had to sit out for most of it and entered back into the game with about three and a half minutes left in the four uh, third and was able to to have an influence. Terry Fox, you look at that lineup and there's just so many players they can roll off the bench and uh, really come at you with waves. Whether it's inside or from the outside. Uh, Frost did have a little bit of foul trouble. Now Merton has four. So we'll see how they respond here. They have to play defense on this first possession. And Bolt nearly losing uh, possession there. Dewick being checked by Frost. Out to Borseth. Six to shoot. Borseth from the top of the circle. She's actually strong from uh, that spot. She was quite a few steps behind the three point line. Willoy. Missick. Frost. 
Back to Missick, going baseline, then crosses over. Pass out to the sideline. Walloy will drive, then dishes to Frost. Frost, another three-point shot that's just off and on the rebound. It's another foul against Terry Fox. And the infraction going to Missick, but she only has two. Rye for three, that's a, off the mark. And the board controlled by Terry Fox. That was Hannah Rao with the uh, rebound as Fox tries to add to its lead. Elbow jumper from Missick, no good. Uncontested rebound taken by White. Neelam Rye at center. Being guarded closely by Walloy. Neelam Rye looks at a screen, goes left instead. Too strong with the layup, and that is going to be the fifth foul of the game on White. She is out of the game on that rebound. She knew it right away. She was not happy. And the Lions will have to fight their way to the championship game without her the rest of the way. 8.26 left in the fourth quarter. That's when the foul was called. Possession going towards the Ravens up by two. I think Yale would love to get a spark here with a defensive stop. Frost has the ball at the foul line. Little runner short. Rebound taken by Yale. It's Kylie Bolt. One on one. Bolt gets the layup to go. She ties the game with the steal and fast break layup. We're tied at 63. And Bolt nearly causing another turnover. But the Ravens. Oh, she does get another turnover. It's a two on two break. Karishma Rai. On the sideline, out to Forsyth, and up top, Duick doesn't get the bounce. The rebound, pinballing to Frost. Yale anticipating that shot to drop, all ready to get out of their seats. Level at 63, entry pass knocked away. Curtis knocking that away, and now Forsyth with the ball, allowing her teammates to set up in the half-court offense. Finds a cutting Curtis to the hoop strong with the layup. Don't think that was a high percentage shot. She really didn't have a lot of space. But really, I think Yale with the momentum here and that stemmed a bit with that short corner jumper by Missick. So Terry Fox with a lead again. Yale had gotten a couple of stops and a bucket. 6.43 to go. To the hoop, Borseth strong, offensive board, and shot no good from Duick. Walloy, Sussex, three, no good, rebound. Going to Yale, last touched by Missick. Timeout called by Yale head coach Bobby Brach. His team down 65-63. You're watching ex an exciting semi-final between Yale and Terry Fox here on TFSCTV.ca live from the Langley Event Center. We are close to determining the 4A championship final, the very first in the history of BC High School girls basketball. This, of course, the first year of 4A, the first year of four tournaments. And that is certainly um, provided even some more great stories. Here is 16 more teams have gotten the opportunity to play for a provincial championship. We've seen some great stories of uh, teams making it back to the tournament for uh, the first time in many, many years. Uh, Delta, the Pacers making the 3A tournament for the first time in several decades. Uh, as we talked about, John Oliver, the first time in 27 years. So some great stories, and of course the traditional powers that we've seen 
here. Semiamu being one of them. And these two teams looking to join Semiamu in the championship final tomorrow. Neelam Rai. 15 to shoot. Finding Bolt. Bolt. Over to Duick. Duick trying to go off the glass. No good. The rebound. Nice strong board by Misick. Now it's going to be Merton back into the game. And right away, you notice her. She instantly creates offense for the Ravens. And that time, a little runner from the middle of the paint. Two possession game now for Fox. 67 63. Ball entered into Gale. Uh, Forsyth out to the sideline. Three pointer, no good. And now Merton trying to work against Forsyth. She scores and draws the foul. Merton playing with four fouls has really flipped the script here, giving Fox all the momentum after two quick buckets. And now an opportunity to go to the line and get another point on the board for the Ravens. Fourth foul of the game for Yale as the miss goes back to Terry Fox and right to the hoop, another foul call on another Merton penetration, this time on the left side, or her left. First foul there for Karishma Rai. Merton. Missing that foul shot. Another offensive board this time. It is Terry Fox and Emily Sussex drawing the foul after getting that offensive board. And boy, you have seen where Fox's dominance inside has really blasted this gap here between the two teams. It's a nine point lead for Fox. This sequence absolutely deadly to Yale. Neelam Rai, got more than half a quarter to go. But Yale definitely needs some momentum here. Right to the hoop, the lay in off the glass. Nice take by Julie Duick. And a big bucket for the Lions, down by seven. Here comes Merton again for the Ravens, hands off to Matthews, goes inside, Missick, then back out, little runner for Walloy, no good, and that time the rebound, going to Yale, as Merton now goes to the bench with her fifth foul on a contested rebound. So we've seen two uh, of the star players fouling out And uh, Merton on the verge of tears as she is so desperate to get her team to the championship final. She may have with that last burst. And now a foul call on Terry Fox. Maybe, maybe I thought there could have been a moving screen there for Yale. And now a bench warning on Terry Fox. Fans are certainly riled up here at the seven point lead for Fox Yale with the ball. Into the paint, turnaround shot goes for Neelam Rai. It's a five point game. Yale really, just really resilient here as then they force a turnover. Duick with the ball. Neelam Rai dribbling to the foul line. Back across to Karishma Rai. Into the top of the foul line. Maggie Curtis to the hoop. Fouled hard. No. Oh my goodness, that was not called a foul. So that must have been all ball by Missick. Yeah. 
Six to shoot in the play. It's gonna be Curtis. Neelam Rai for three. No good. Uh, it's almost as if the entire crowd just stopped waiting to see if that shot would go quickly into Sussex. Back out, three-point attempt. No good from Misick. Offensive board, reverse layup. Strong for Fox. Sussex, unlucky there. Getting to the loose ball. Can't get that reverse to go. Now to the sideline. Bolt. Curtis to the hoop. No foul call there. Misick coming up with a loose ball. Walloy. Wow. Now worked over to the, the sideline. Line. Ball off the glass. Off from Matthews. Walloy. Off the glass. Off the rim. No good. Put back is for Sussex. And Yale just unable to match the inside presence of Terry Fox. Curtis. Dewick. Off the mark and another one shot possession for Yale. And Fox has been responding with offensive boards galore. This time, no need for an offensive board. One shot and in for Missick. It's a nine point lead again for Fox. Does Yale have another run left in them? Step back, Dewick. Foul line, looks to drive, Dewick. Playing. What a play by Julie Dewick. Seven point lead for Terry Fox. Boy, this has been an intense matchup and certainly worthy of a semifinal here at the BC High School Girls Provincial Championships. 2A, 3A, and 4A all being hosted here at the LEC. And certainly we hope you have enjoyed this game. And we encourage you to uh, come down and take in the uh, final games of the tournament tomorrow here at the Langley Event Center. The very final game uh, tomorrow will feature the winner of this game versus uh, Semiamu. That'll take place at 5 p.m. at center court. The uh, loser of this game will play at 3 p.m. versus Walnut Grove in the third place game in the south court. 2.25 to go in regulation time. 76 for Terry Fox, 69 for Yale. Fox will inbound. They've got Hannah Rao, Malloy, Sussex, Missick, and over on the far side is Taylor Matthews. Ball into Sussex. Loses the ball out of bounds. Yale has the two rise. Julie Dewick, Kylie Bolt, and Lily Borseth on the floor. Approaching the final two minutes here. Dewick up top. Rye. Rishma Rye. Dewick looked at a shot. Will go to the hoop instead. Just a little bit strong on that off balance jumper from the short corner. Terry Fox with the rebound. Matthews. Baseline. Ooh, it's intercepted by Dewick. Dewick trying to corral the loose ball and maintain possession. And she loses. Possession out of a trying to pass out of a double team, and it's going to be a layup attempt, a foul called on Yale. And I believe that will be the fifth foul of the game on Julie Dewick as well, who has been heroic for this Yale team. Maddie, Maggie Curtis will uh, come in. and getting some words of encouragement and some hugs from her coaches as Sussex makes good on the first shot. This has uh, certainly been a, an emotional and intense game 
as uh, the second shot goes down. And Terry Fox may have just sealed their spot in the provincial final, the 4A tier. They lead by nine with a minute and a half to go. Curtis for three, the rebound taken by Neelam Rye. She'll try her hand at three, strong. And the loose ball saved by Curtis, but taken by Terry Fox. It's Walloy, Walloy trying to go to the hoop. Short with the lane attempt. Forsyth. Forsyth quickly out to Curtis. Now it's going to be Rye off the glass. No good. Rebound secured by Missick. 50 seconds to go. Missick now for a three point shot made by uh, Taylor Matthews. I'm not sure that was needed by Terry Fox. They could have just run out the clock there. So that makes it an, an 81-69 game, the last three-pointer for uh, Terry Fox. Not sure uh, the opposing coaches would be happy with that one. Shot no good there from Yale. The Lions valiant here, but unable to overcome the Terry Fox Ravens. Ball out of bounds, and uh, the Ravens will inbound. I assume they will not be going for a shot on this possession. As the clock runs down, and the Ravens have clinched a spot to the BC 4A girls final. Continue your celebrations, Ravens. They are headed for the provincial final. 81-69 winners over the Yale Lions. And for the Ravens, their offensive rebounding, their inside play really taking them to the next level here tonight against Yale, especially in that fourth quarter. And so it is Terry Fox and Semi Amu in tomorrow's 4A final at 5 p.m. here at the 4A Girls Provincial Championships at the Langley Event Center. And we're just seeing here Bobby Brach talking with Karen Kwong of Terry Fox, uh, giving her some inspirational words. Certainly, really one of the members driving this Fox team. And it is the Ravens who will challenge the totems tomorrow in the 4A final. Yale will face Walnut Grove in the third place game at 3 p.m. tomorrow here at the South Court. We hope you can join us for a, another wonderful day of basketball tomorrow. It was a great one today.